Well, welcome to uh, 66 Summer Street. Uh, I'm Sue Philbrick. I am on Manchester's planning board and also on the MBTA task force. <clears throat> and I'm here today, along with Tiffany Marletta, who's behind the camera, to take you on a little walking tour of one of our proposed overlay districts to comply with the MBTA communities law. So I'll talk about properties as we walk and see the district. So 66 Summer Street um, is already a very dense property, uh, which is why we chose this particular area to be a proposed community overlay district. So 66 Summer Street is composed of primarily office condos. Every owner, every condo owner would have to agree for this parcel of land to be sold and then to be transformed into multifamily. The next building we're going to walk by is 68 uh, Summer Street. It already is a multi-unit building, both commercial and residential. If for some reason this building were converted to multifamily housing under the law, it would only be able to hold three units because of the size of the lot. The size of lot limits how many units may be contained in the building. Now I'd like to turn our attention to across the street, which is the Brook Street condos. Again, this is a very dense property already full of multifamily housing. Uh, and these are condominiums. So in order for this property to be redeveloped in some way, every condo owner would have to agree to sell their property. I wanted to take a minute and talk about the restrictions in the law regarding the appearance of what can be built. First of all, there are the usual setback requirements and height requirements and parking requirements. But there's also, uh, specific to this set of zoning uh, bylaw amendments, uh, design guidelines. And that these apply only to uh, the community housing overlay districts. If anyone wants to develop multifamily housing under this law, they must go through a site plan review process uh, through the planning board, a butters will be notified, and they must comply with specific design guidelines, two and a half stories, uh, peaked roofs, um, materials used. The whole goal is to make any development uh, conform to the uh, nature of the neighborhood, the appearance and character of the neighborhood that the new multifamily housing will be part of. And the next building that we come to is a, currently it's a commercial building. Now this building, if it were sold and developed into multifamily housing, it could, because of its size, and because of the design restrictions, it could contain eight units. I don't know how many commercial offices are contained within in it now. Well, now we're a few steps further along uh, Summer Street, and we are looking at the driveway and the back of Memorial School and the next property that is uh, part of our zoning district. So this property is already multifamily housing. Um, it contains apartments and condos, and um, there is very little likelihood that any additional units could be added to this due to the size of the property and the number of units it currently contains. Now the next property we're going to go by is a single family house, um, but due to its size, if it were to be uh, converted into multifamily housing under the law, uh, it would only be able to contain uh, three multifamily units at the most, provided the lot was 6,000 square feet. Now, finally, we come to the corner um, with Lincoln Street. And again, this property is already multifamily housing. Um, Additional units would not be able to be added. And as 
you peek around the corner, the last few buildings uh, in this particular zoning district on this side of the street also contain multifamily housing now. So there's very little chance that there will be additional density in terms of units in this area. Now look across the street at the gas station. So believe it or not, the gas station could not be built there today. Uh, first of all, that area is zoned solely for residential housing. If for some reason the gas station were sold and multifamily housing were to be built there, uh, it's about a half acre of land. So it could contain about eight units. And now we'll look at the four single family homes that are across the street on Summer Street. Uh, these four homes are in the A district. The number of units, uh, number 75, it could be three units. 77 could have five. 79, seven. And 85, zero, because again, it all depends upon the size of the lot. Um, one thing to look at, in addition to the size of the lot in determining how many units could be developed on each, is the topography. Uh, there is a steep slope in the back of each lot, and that could uh, influence whether or not these properties might be developed in the future. Uh, we will end with a chart that shows you the dimensional requirements uh, of the district. And if you have further questions, check out other parts of the MBTA zoning website.